In this reaction, we have copper two nitrate and ammonium hydroxide. This is a double displacement reaction. The copper and the ammonium, the NH4, they're gonna switch places. So when we balance this, we're gonna use a little trick. We're gonna count the nitrate here, this NO3, we have it here and here. We're just gonna count it as one thing. For the ammonium, the NH4, we have it here and here, count it as one thing. And finally, the hydroxide, it stays together too. We have it here and here, we count it as one thing. This is a very effective strategy when you're balancing these double displacement reactions. It makes it a lot easier and less prone to error. Let's try it. We have one copper, we have one nitrate times the two, so we have two of those, one ammonium, and one hydroxide, one OH. On the product side, we have the one copper, the one nitrate, the one ammonium, and then we have the one hydroxide times two, we have two of those. Let's balance the nitrates first. We have two here and one here. Put a coefficient of two in front of our ammonium nitrate. So now we have the one nitrate times the two. That gives us two of those. Those are balanced. And the one ammonium, that's the NH4 times two. We have two of those. Let's balance the ammonium next. That should balance the hydroxide as well. We have two here and one here. Put a coefficient of two in front of the ammonium hydroxide we have one ammonium times two. That gives us two, so these are balanced. One hydroxide times the two. Now the hydroxides are balanced, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see by counting these ions, polyatomic ions, if they stay together in the chemical reaction as one thing, that makes the balancing just a whole lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuNO32 plus NH4OH. Thanks for watching.